In this clip, we're going to talk about axioms of probability. Uh, let's review some basic concepts. Alright, so uh, when we talk about probability theory, we usually have we, we have an experiment, a random experiment, and from this random experiment, we get an outcome. An outcome is a member of this set sample space. Okay, so sample space is a set of all possible outcomes. For example, if we have uh, uh, our experiment is flipping two coins, so the sample space S is equal to, uh, okay, may you might get two heads, the first head and then tail, a tail, and tail and the head or getting both tails so this is the sample space for this experiment if you have five people running a race and our, our outcome is the order that these people finish the race uh, assume that there's no tie then uh, the sample space is is a set of all permutation set of uh, p where p is permutation of this set a b c d e okay so the size in this case the size of s as we have uh, counted before so the size of s is uh, 5 factorial okay now uh, if you have a sample space can be uh, so it's just a set so it can be uh, continuous okay so for example if you you measure the times in in seconds used to transmit a and a 1 megabyte file so uh, so set S sample space is a set of all you know uh, integer x uh, no real number x such that x is between zero x to infinity right so it's the set of non-negative real numbers okay all right so from a sample space we have an event. So suppose we have a set of all possible outcome S. An event is just a subset of the sample space. And we want to talk about the probability of an event. So uh, we have this notation, okay? So we, so we, we want to say that for each event E, we can talk about under uh, in the sample space S, uh, we there, there exists a probability of e right and we denote this by uh, p of e and and uh, previously we we talk about p through a simple model okay so like we have a bag and then we pick an object of of a bag right and we in this uh segment we want to talk about um, more about the axiomatic treatment of p okay so we wanna we, we're not gonna say that p uh you know you have uh a bag or anything because we, we uh we, we our experiment will get more and more complex and 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 also there's some uh when when the sample space is is continuous it's it's hard to think about you know how many things that you're gonna pick right all right so um so we're gonna we're gonna just discard that uh, previous simple model and and treat p as as uh, just a function okay and and we assume that this function p satisfy the following three axioms and and these axioms when when after you see it is basically something that correspond to our notion of probabilities that we have used before okay 
So the first axiom say that uh, the probability of any event should be from uh, should shouldn't be uh, negative numbers, right? And should be at most one. Okay. So a probability is 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 a number between zero and one. The second axiom is says that the probability of the sample space is one. Okay. So it means that the probability that you're gonna get some outcome from this set okay is one so something is gonna happen for sure because you do some random experiment okay so that's what it say so basically the maximum so you said you know that that any event the probability is is from zero to one and s is the uh, and and it reached one at at the sample space okay and the last one is basically uh this is like uh it might look a l little bit uh complicated but uh if you think about this this is like this only say so if you have two events so if you think about two events if you have two disjoint events or mutually exclusive events it's the same thing and you say that the probability of the union of this event is it's is the sum of the probabilities and and this is true so for axiom 3 it talks about this for a countable sequence of disjoint events so not only two events but uh you have uh like many you can have many many events count countable sequence of disjoint events so you can have a lot but it has to be countable okay all right so um okay so if you have so this is a set s if you have say uh, e1 e2 e3 this axiom says that the probability of uh, the union of these three events if they are disjoint or sometimes we call it uh, mutually exclusive okay should be equals to the sum of the probability here okay all right and we also have the not notations from the set theory and everything from the previous lectures so let's have a quick review so if you have a and b b events okay so if this is s and you have two events so in general they might intersect and then you have a union b which is like the union of the two events you have a intersection b and we're gonna we're gonna write it like this after uh, later on because this is shorter and and for the union we have this uh, union symbol for the intersection we just ignore it we just write a b okay and this is a uh, complement this complement of A, so you have this is S, and you have A, and the complement of A is this, okay? And you have this uh, A given B, so by definition, this is uh, A, B, probability of A, B over probability of B. And this only defined when B probability of, of B is greater than zero okay and we, we because a and B are both sets uh, we can use this symbol uh, the we can say that a is a subset of B okay so these are a quick review from of the notations all right uh, with these axioms we can prove many interesting fact so uh, we, we have the first example so we're going to show that the probability of an event A equals 1 minus the probability of the complement of A. So this say that the probability that a one some event uh, would occur equals uh, 1 minus the probability that it doesn't occur. Okay. So to prove this, we're going to uh, start with some simple fact. Okay. So a complement A, so it's we know that A union A complement 
equals this sample space. Okay, we know that, and we also know that uh, a and you know a complement intersect with a complement. This these two sets are disjoint. So we know that from the third axioms, we know that the probability of a union a complement this equals because they are disjoint event from this so you know that this probability of a plus probability of a uh, complement and anyway so this because the set are equal so this p of s and from so this part is from axiom 3 and then but we know that probability of s equals 1 this is from axiom 2 okay and you you can solve this right this 1 equals this and yeah so you get you get this equations okay now uh if you want to prove that if a is a subset of b then probability of a is not greater than the probability of b okay how how are we going to prove that okay so uh if you need more time you can just pause the video okay all right so let me give you the solutions so basically if you want to use the axiom then you better uh, try you should try to relate uh, this set a and b right so let's let's draw some pictures so you have set uh, b and a is a subset of b okay you want to show that the probability of a is at most the probability of b right Okay, from this we can say uh, we need to uh, somehow uh, argue that uh, this is less than that right so uh, we can just start by uh, notice that uh, probability of a um, no no sorry uh, probability of sorry okay so we start by saying that b equals what a union b minus a right uh, this is a and this is uh, b minus a okay and note that uh, they are disjoint right this set and that set are disjoint so we know that the probability of uh, a union b minus a from the third axiom again equals the probability of a plus probability of b minus a right and this is uh, this equal to go on this side this is probability of b right because this is b so it's the same thing however we know that from the so from this this step is axiom the third axiom but we know that uh, from the first axiom that p probability of any event is you know, as at least zero. Okay. So now from this this one and this one, you can conclude that uh, p a is at most p b, right? Because this term is at least zero. So you you can uh, yeah, you do something. You can uh, show that uh, pb uh, yeah from that using basic algebra you can get this okay all right so my last uh, the question of this segment is is this so from the axioms can you prove this okay can you prove that the probability of the union of the event equal the sum of the probability of the event minus the probability that they both occur okay and and with this we can answer the question from the previous clips 
that uh, when what's uh, what's the condition where this term the union equals the sum of the property a and b without this term okay that's when uh, this term equals to uh, zero right so that's the answer for the previous uh, questions but uh, the question of this segment is to prove this all right all right so uh, see you in the next clips